we are back with another savage video thanks to everyone that's liking commenting and sharing my video and also everybody that's subscribing to the channel you guys are real rock stars in an effort to help out the community a little bit i decided to do some short easily digestible crypto mining beginner type videos because with the recent rise in crypto mining profitability we've seen an influx of new users and they're asking some of the questions that we all asked whenever we first started. So I figured I would start at the beginning. If you are going to start crypto mining using your graphics processing unit or GPU, then there's quite a few things that you need to know before you get started. Whenever random people come over and see my mining rigs, they are always baffled and don't understand what they are looking at. And the question usually involves some form of, so what is crypto mining anyway? The cryptocurrencies transactions are included in a block. They're all grouped into a block. And then that block is then presented to the network where mining software, also called miners, the miners then run a hash function on it, on that block to find the random number that the network has determined that is, they're, they're looking for a random number that is equal to or less than the network provided number. This number is based on the network's program block times and more or less difficult depending on how long it took the previous block to be solved. The effort by the miners proves the transactions are valid and should be included in the blockchain. Mining is a competition between all miners on the network to see who can solve the problem, the, the equation first. And then due to the electricity and equipment and connection cost, this reward is called a block reward and it varies from currency to currency. And then whenever we talk about a wallet, that is an address that you use to mine to. It's, it's what the network sends the mining rewards to. And usually it's something that only you have access to. Most people mine to a pool. A mining pool combines all connected miner hash power, their computing power, in an attempt to solve the block's hash function solution faster than each computer could on their own if they were solo mining. So you essentially need four things in order to start crypto mining. You need the hardware, you need the pool, then you need the mining software, and then you need a wallet address to mine to. You have to have the hardware, which is your computer, GPU, etc. This comes in a lot of different forms. Uh, there's plenty of videos here on my channel also on how to build a mining rig. Then you also need the pool. If you go to miningpoolstats.stream, you can kind of uh, figure out what kind of pool to use for the project that you wanna mine. I'm showing Ethereum right here. There are lots of pools for Ethereum. One of them is two miners. So this is an example of a, of a pool that you could connect to. Then you also need the mining software. This is an example of what it would look like while it's running on the rig. This is Phoenix Miner. And then you also need the wallet or the mining address that you're going to mine to. So this is Zelcor wallet, and it's just one of the many multi-asset wallets that are available. This is just my favorite. And you click on, well, you would add the asset first, you know, by clicking here, add asset, choose the asset, whatever it is, then whichever one you're gonna mine, right? And then you're going to click on that project, in this case, Ethereum. And then we go to receive. And then this is your address that you're going to mine to. And what's nice about Zelcor, you just click on it and it copies it to the clipboard. And then you can paste it in to the appropriate place in your mining software. So just to recap, you have the hardware, which is your mining rig, or it could be your personal computer with a GPU. You can mine with a CPU as well. It just all depends on what project you're mining, but that is the hardware. Then you have the software, the miner that is running on that hardware. The mining software includes the miner configuration. It'll have your mining address included in, the, in there in the configuration of the mining software itself because the miner is what communicates with the network to either retrieve work or receive work receive the block that it, that your miner is going to run algorithms on to try to figure out the solution that is provided by the network so that you can get the rewards and it's also going to send that data to the network 
So the mining software is very important. And that is the third part that you need. The fourth part being the mining address that is included with the configuration of your miner. I know it sounds, it might sound a little bit confusing, but it's really not that bad. We'll get into all that in later videos in this basic series. And in the next video, we're gonna get into why you should be very concerned about the cost of your electricity in kilowatt hours and why it matters. Well, there you have it, my friends. If you are looking to stay up to date on this crazy crypto mining world, be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Stay savage, everybody.